You are listening to 600 Second Saga. Today's feature is Augmented Writers by Liam Burke. Adrenal mods startled him into wakefulness, mercilessly tossed into forced alertness, striated light from the grime-coated glass illuminated further filth, clinging to claustrophobic hab-room walls. Krez hated confronting his pathetic fizz space existence this way. He had nothing against fizz space. His was just pathetic. His near modless travesty of skin plowed through heaps of clothes and cheap takeout boxes to the only unsullied item his augmented reality pod. Cherry red exterior, shiny chrome faux leather interior. Classy, if retro was cutting edge. He couldn't afford a whole aerosphere immersion suit. Just a good base and some wear. For now. Soothing pleather pressed flesh. Various connections to corresponding orifices were arranged. The last link forged to his base. Manually. With his hands. Like an animal. He closed his eyes and got ready to ride. Overlay receptors blossomed, adding impossible interp that fizz space was denied. Wasteland apartment was washed away by near endless fields of superimposed meadow. Screens. So many screens. Flickered with meat interp and overlay input floating in the center of an infinite expanse. His console. His avatar glided weightless as thought through the aerosphere. His gaze wrenched away from his fizz form in the pod, best not to dwell on the corporeal existence. He picked a screen, brushed it lightly. Senses slurred to someone else as he rode pre made neural paths. The field fell and focus showed the upscale inner sanctum of the ultra rich. A hallway saturated with art only the augmented could view. Tasteful and subtle, played throughout. It was why he'd picked her. Opulence never missed a bit off the top. Complete control loss didn't elicit waves of nauseating panic as in past trips. He and his wear were riders. They rode along waiting for the vehicle to open an account Transfer some sweet, sweet currency, ready to redirect. Replacing sense sets with diametrically opposed ones unsettled the first few times. Humans could get used to anything, though, and Krez remained mostly human, if nothing else. His ride reached for drawer handles, revealing rows of toiletries. Stats and mascots danced around them in the iridescent overlay saturation displaying their undercarriage cleaning capabilities brilliantly. He was witness to a slender hand reaching forward and a glance to the empty holder in the nearby bathroom, toilet adjacent. Warning signs chittered in anxious repetition, desperate for resolution before she... He snapped back to the console. The green pasture. Nasty. He would pick the literal worst time. His avatar crackled a sigh and tapped again. Consciousness coalesced into a new base. Through tubes of thought translated as code, his overlay receptors synced up as his vision was dominated by what could only be a menu. In French, maybe, or Italian, he knew neither language. What he did speak fluently was price tag. This menu spoke via zeros in a conga line with digits. The ultimate decryption ware. His, the vehicle's, finger tapped a line. A full sensory protocol of the meal's potential eased interp in. The taste sensations meshing with the visual appeals of roast duck was subtle and very expensive, all on its lonesome. Will you hurry up and order? A woman's annoyed voice crashed the pallet party. They clearly weren't paying any time soon. He'd return later. Awareness flung backwards to the console, 
Next. Interp asserted. Sense sets detailed what was recognized as a whole. Classification dirt. His hands inserted another set, long and heavy, into... He slammed back into the field faster than the initial data could collate. That was definitely a body. Someone's meat suit getting stuck where no one would find it. He opened a window in the aerosphere and pinged the police anonymously. He trusted his encryption codes to keep it that way. It was risky, but he was a thief, not a murderer. He had to have standards. He scrubbed his avatar and reset to standard, expunging the escape protocols that had dutifully pulled him from peril. This next one better be good, or he would likely scream. He focused on the console, the multitudes of windows flashing from every corner of the city, pulled it away without a twitch. Visions of vision kaleidoscoped past. He smiled and his flesh face twitched in sync. He reached out. Data rocketed forward and he found himself several inches closer to the ground than his usual rides. It was one of the teens tagged on an upload run. In the centuries-old tradition of her age range, they were at the mall. He counted maybe five that were visible, and her base wasn't flagging anyone as strangers. Their avatars superimposed themselves garishly. Definitely her friends. Definitely out shopping in a mall. Nothing said payday like prepubescence surrounded by vice. Were his hands his own, he'd have cracked his knuckles. Time for real writer work. First thing to go was the base's filtering wear. Overlay receptors were adjusted for maximum input interp. A flamingo, pathetically pink, lit up to lighting levels of neon and rushed out from nowhere. Immediately his ride's attention set to intense focus, but no dice. She giggled, pointing, but her friends weren't enhanced, so the flamingo was flummoxed. He tried again. A parade of aerosphere models marched past and around them from... a clothing store? Krez never noticed brands, and she didn't either. Their hair, perfect and shining... The illusory ideal interp beat at her receptors, but still she moved along. He frowned. It was never easy. He switched up, filtered interp from her companions, searched for buzzwords. Ah, of course. How sexist of him. It's crunchinating time. A gun-toting giant with modded muscles winked into screaming existence in front of Krez's vehicle. Firearms probably had gym memberships, too. That did the trick. With a squeal of, Oh my god, I forgot it came out! Her base connected to purchase whatever gratuitous game the ad sold, and he had what he came for. More digits than expected left her parents' account, and added to Krez's eye upgrade fund. He pulled out, reset, scanned the console, Saddled back up. Augmented riders ceased only in sleep. This was Augmented Riders by Liam Burke. Liam is a horror sci-fi independent author. He is a father of one and a husband of another. He currently works in the IT industry, studies Bujinkan Budu Taijutsu, and enjoys several types of LARP. He has several novellas, which are collections of short stories. His most recent release is Tom's Adventure, a fairy tale with illustrations about concepts and how we shape them. Check our show notes for links. Music is provided by Mads. Learn more about 600 Second Saga, our authors, how to submit your flash fiction, and how to support the podcast in the show notes. This has been Mariah Avix and 600 Second Saga.